What's up guys? Uh, today I decided to talk a little bit about one of my favorite video games of all time. Now, it's not going to be anything cool like the Silent Hill series or Legend of Zelda or anything like that, but it is something that I consider a classic and that has been around for a very long time. Um, that game is Harvest Moon. Um, we're going to be looking at the PlayStation 1 version, Harvest Moon Back to Nature, because this one is what I feel the best of the series. So to go ahead and start taking a closer look at this, we're going to have to break out our memory cards. And of course, our PlayStation 1s. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this game. Harvest Moon Back to Nature is the third game in the long-running Harvest Moon series, as well as the only game released on the Sony PlayStation. You once again take over as Jack, who has inherited his grandfather's farm shortly after his death. It's up to you to restore the farm to its former glory, as well as find the young girl that you once played with when you were a child. Returning are the characters from the very popular Harvest Moon 64, as well as some similar environments. This game, however, is much more than another port. Changing the basic setting, as well as the relationships and interactions that the characters have with each other, Back to Nature also vastly improves on the time mechanics, which could be very frustrating in earlier installments. Whereas in the N64 version, a day could completely pass you by while simply out gathering food or fishing, in Back to Nature, you have much more time in which to get things done. In Harvest Moon 64, you could gather recipes from local townsfolk by giving them various produce. In Back to Nature, this aspect is still there, but improved on again, where you have the ability to cook and use these recipes with your expanded house, providing a full kitchen complete with appliances and storage. The biggest improvement for me, however, other than the time mechanics, was the ability to quick draw your inventory and tools. This made the game so much more convenient to me. Another aspect I really enjoyed versus the N64 version was that two new animal types were added in a matter of speaking. You could use your pond to store and raise the fish that you had caught, as well as allow them to grow, which could, if done properly, get you a very high profit. Also, another aspect that was added, if done in the appropriate season, flowers planted on your farm would yield bees, who would provide you with honeycombs that could be eaten, sold, or used to enhance your recipes. Another mechanic that was added in this installment, that would continue in later games, was fruit-bearing trees. In this game, you had an apple tree on your farm. In future games, such as Harvest Moon DS, you're able to plant multiple kinds of trees that are always going to be available for harvest. Overall, I feel that Back to Nature was the pinnacle of the Harvest Moon series, and a classic that any sim gamer should have on their shelf. With the popularity of games online, such as Farmville, I can see this game being a very big hit if re-released or purchased as a downloadable content on the PlayStation Network. A girl-oriented release of this title, simply called Harvest Moon for Girl, or For Girls, was developed but was not released in the United States, although the game did get a Game Boy Advanced port of both the original and female release, titled Friends of Mineral Town and More Friends of Mineral Town, as well as a Harvest Moon boy and girl that was available on the Sony PlayStation Portable. I am a steadfast fan of the Harvest Moon series. I'd be very, very happy to see new titles that go back to these humble origins. Overall, I cannot recommend this game enough. Harvest Moon Back to Nature for the PlayStation 1. It gets a 9 out of 10 from me. You should go pick this game up. This is Psychodrama signing off, and I hope you enjoyed this game review. Na 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 na